Okay, go ahead. It was first imposed on Trish, I thought that all carcinogenic agents and chemicals that were used in sleepwear had been removed from the shelves and that all threat was no longer existing. Reading a very good article in Newsweek, I used the information to make what I thought were very good judgments in buying sleepwear for my children. I wrote to Newsweek and I thanked them for the article and I told them that now my children sleep safely. They printed the letter to the editor about three weeks later and a woman in California read it and called me to tell me that no, I did not have my children safely asleep that night. That uh, Tris and THPC, another chemical which is very similar to Tris in its molecular structure, were used throughout the garment industry. You could find it in carpeting, drapes, um, underwear, socks, children's clothing, blankets, and just a, a variety of items that are that lend themselves to um, um, uh, a vulnerability to fires. The fabric and you twist it around so that when you burn it, the fabric and the wire will Yeah, I see it now. See how see how it drips? And it's still going green tell you whether there is Tris or THPC in the garment. It will only tell you that there is a chemical present. And if you care to know what the chemical is, if the item is of importance to you, then you need to write the manufacturer and ask them why you are getting a positive reading on the test. Oh, yeah. That's so valuable to me is that Tris is only the tip of the iceberg. Other chemicals that are being used that are not banned have not been either proven to be safe or have already shown signs of mutagenity in an AIMS test.